I just don't understand why does this dude still have his platform? <laughs> I just don't understand why is he still on YouTube? And based on the thumbnail and the title, you already know what you're gonna who you already know who I'm talking about. And the fact that this man is still posting kid friendly content after he got exposed for what he did goes to show that YouTube does not care about who they allow or don't allow on their website. Now, now I'm going to summarize this. Okay, so if if you know this person, you you already know who I'm talking about. This is the YouTuber I'm talking about is a mini lad. And I'm probably going to get some comments like, oh, you're milking this dude for views or this dude, he learned from his mistakes, leave him alone and all that crap from his fans who are kids, by the way, who don't know about what he did or they're just adults who give this dude a pass. But let this be another YouTuber and all hell will break loose and he's not the only one that needs to be taken out to be banned from YouTube. So I'm going to summarize what he did in case you don't know, or if you're one of his fans, who's going to comment some crap like that on my channel, on my page, on my, um, on my video. So basically, if you don't know what mini lad did, um, two or three years ago, he got called out for sending underage girls inappropriate messages and pictures and soliciting them and he admitted to doing so let that sink in this dude this dude got exposed for receiving and sending inappropriate messages and pictures to underage girls to the three of them at least and he admitted to it. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this dude. It's because of the fact that he still has a platform. He still has a platform. And on top of that, he is making his content kid friendly. And he needs to be banned from you. He needs to be banned from YouTube before he does this crap again. It's only a matter of time before he does this again. And YouTube has got already proven that they're willing to ban channels for little to no reason. For example, they banned Leafy because he made too many Pokemon videos. Um, they took down Crackback's channel because of the fact that he kept making memes about Nikocado Avocado. Um... They took down they took down a whole bunch of channels for something that's less serious or something little. And before you say anything, I'm not the biggest fans of Leafy, I Show Speed, or Andrew Tate, or any of these big YouTubers. Well, aside from Andrew Tate, who um got caught up in the huge in the human trafficking madness all if not most of the youtubers that i mention almost all of them have never have never sent underage girls inappropriate pictures as many lad did and it's not just it he's it's not just many lad who needs to be banned people like kiwis onision shane dawson after all the crap that they've done they need to be banned as well and I know someone's going to be like, oh, YouTube demonetized his channel. Okay. They demonetized his channel, his channel, but that's not enough. That's not enough. That's not enough. He needs to be banned before he does this crap again. 
And TJV brought this up in one of his videos. Um, he sent, he had a, um, he was, he responded to a donation, um, calling him out for what he did. And many lad pretty much said, get your facts straight. This dude had the nerve to say that when he literally admitted to what he did. He does not deserve. Like, he, he. So basically, he's trying to lie. He's lying about the whole about what he got exposed for. And he's trying to disregard. I guess he's trying to get. I guess he's trying to um let his old fans. Well, not his old fans, his new fans. Who are kids, by the way. Um, I guess he's trying to get, let his... He's trying to avoid letting his new fans know about what he did. And... <laughs> it's not going to work. We all know what you did, Mini Lad. I just don't understand how was this dude able to keep his channel after, like I said... People like Leafy, Crackback, um, Monkey Jones, and all of these YouTubers get their channels taken down for something so small, but yet this dude can send underage girls inappropriate pictures and admit to doing so. I really hope that YouTube takes his channel down because he does not deserve to keep it. And the fact that he's making his content kid-friendly makes it even worse because now it's only a matter of time before he sends more inappropriate messages and pitches to more underage girls. And, and it's not just me who thinks like this. There are plenty of people who, who want him gone. But like I said, I really hope YouTube does something about his channel. I just hope that he they take it down because it just it just baffles me how he's able to keep his platform after this crap but let me know what you guys think about this do you, um i encourage people to stop i do encourage people to start talking about mini lad since he's trying to make his content kid friendly and and um hopefully more more people should talk about what he did but can't force everyone to make a video about him but the least i can do is have someone have you guys like talk about it and spread awareness about what he did so youtube would finally step in and do something about his channel and take it down and i'm usually not a I'm usually against deplatforming someone, but in his case, I'm not. I want him to be banned. I want him to get his channel taken down because he is a danger to children. But like I said, let me know what you guys think about this. And I do encourage you guys to talk about this situation because it needs to be people need to know about what he did. That being said, have a wonderful day. In the meantime, I'm out.